Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra. I'm a healthcare professional. And today I want to talk to us about canned milk. This is a product that we have been using for years as a community. And today I just want to share some information with us so that we can either limit the use of it or stop using it um, altogether. So let's look at the ingredients in the milk. We have milk, dipotassium phosphate, carrageenan, and vitamin D. So what is wrong with the ingredients in this milk? So first of all, we have the milk. Some are made with full fat milk and others are reduced fat milk. It doesn't tell us whether it's a GMO milk or non-GMO milk. So that's that. And then the second one, um, dipotassium phosphate. This is used to help maintain the pH within the milk. The milk have to be at a specific pH. And so they use this um, to help to stabilize the pH in the milk. And then the next thing is carrageenan. Carrageenan is made from red seaweeds and this is used to thicken the milk but it has no nutritional value. And some of the side effects of carrageenan is that it can cause inflammation or it can trigger inflammation in your body. It can cause bloating, it can cause um, irritable bowel syndrome, and it can even cause colon cancer. And it causes um, damage to your digestive system. Because of some of these reasons, this ingredient is banned in some of the countries. A country such as Europe have banned this ingredient. If you have a product, you cannot have carrageenan in your products. But here in the United States, they allow this ingredient to be in it. So that is one thing that is not good for our health. It's, you know, they are not considering it unsafe but they allow this product to be put in our foods. So the next ingredient is dextrose. This is another name for sugar. And there is three grams of sugar in a serving size, which is two tablespoons. Three grams of sugar is almost a teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar is equal to four grams. So there is a lot of sugar in here too. And then there's the vitamin D, and this is a synthetic vitamin D, so it's not the best vitamin um, that they put in it for us. So what can we use instead of canned milk? So one thing that we can use is heavy cream. I think heavy cream is a good option because it's a full fat milk, and then it has that thickness. I know some of us are used to um, the consistency in the canned milk, and heavy cream have the thick, it is as thick as the canned milk. So that's a great option. Another option is um, half and half. Um, that is also a great option to use to replace the canned milk. And then you can also use whole milk, regular whole milk. Remember when it comes to milk, you want the full fat whole milk. You do not want any reduced fat milk. That's higher in sugar and it will spike up your blood glucose. So you want full fat milk. And other people might want to use plant milk like almond milk, cashew milk. As long as you, it doesn't affect you, it's okay to use. But when it comes to those um, nut milks, make sure you are looking at the ingredients because they have to put a lot of, some of them put a lot of ingredients to make it shelf stable. So be careful of the ingredients in the plant milks that you use. And then you may also be wondering about the powder milk. Um, again, I would say look at the ingredients. A lot of times chemicals and other products I put in ingredients to keep them shelf stable. So you want to make sure you are looking at the ingredients in whether it's powder milk, whatever milk that you're buying, 
you want to make sure you look at the ingredients in it so that you are not buying something with an ingredient that is harmful to your body so i hope this was helpful to you and please let's share this video so that we can um, stop using some of these products that is causing so much problems um, in our body and is causing us to be sick so thank you so much for watching this video remember to share subscribe to this channel as i'm bringing us information that will help us to be healthy thank you again until the next time bye